OMG. My life sucks. Ever since I moved to Forks I have been miserable. My father, who I call Charlie bought me a car, all the boys in school, are drooling over me, even though I know I'm average looking, all the girls want to be my friend, and everyone laughs at my unfunny jokes. Things could not possibly get any worse. My life is so dark and depressing. Greetings mortal, I mean fellow blood sack. I'm Edward Cullen. Not in any way, shape, or form trying to convince the audience that I'm a vampire. You are the most beautiful creature I have ever laid eyes upon. You remind me of a Greek god, Adonis. You have liquid topaz eyes. Well, if Tara and I am madly in love with you. I want to bear your demonic owl spawn. You are so mysterious and undeniably sexy. I want you inside me. You smell funny. Hi, I'm Jacob. Remember me? Sure, I guess. Don't worry, I'm not a werewolf, or a pedophile for that matter. Okie dokie then. Alrighty then, peace. Edward. You saved me from that van. Does this mean you want to have sex with me? I didn't save you from Tyler's van. I'm not a vampire you know. Of course you aren't. Vampires can't go out in the daylight without negative effects, and they can't attend school for that very reason. But you did save me. I know you did. I know in my heart that you love me, that we are meant to be. I'm bursting with anticipation, Edward. Take me now. Vampires can still go out in the daylight. You're stupid and you don't know anything about vampires. Fine, fine, sure, whatever. Can we have a passionate love affair now? No, we cannot, Bella. You still smell funny. But, I bathe today. Just for you. I'm dangerous, Bella, and full of chagrin. We can never be together. Who uses the word chagrin? Do you really want to know what I'm, Bella? Really? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Positive. Just tell me already, and stop being such a melodramatic asshole. Okay then. Bella. I'm a vampire. That makes no fucking sense. Yes it does. I sparkle in the sun, when it isn't cloudy, and I drink animal blood to survive. That's because I'm a vegetarian. I've been going to high school for 90 years, and I'm a virgin. Okay, there are a few things wrong with what you just said. If you drink animal blood, you aren't a vegetarian. Yes, I am. No, you aren't. I'm older than you. That means I'm smarter so hot. I'll ignore that because I'm so madly in love with you. Secondly, a virgin? Oh, baby, we have to pop the cherry. What about tonight? Haven't you been listening? I'm dangerous. I've killed people. I want to drink you dry. I want to kill you, bitch. I trust you. You still want me? Oh, yeah. What if I told you I stalked you and watched you sleep? That's so sweet and romantic. Very well. Let's start dating. What will your family think? Everyone will instantly love you, except Rosalie who is a bitch, Mary Sue. My name is Bella. All right. Yes. I have you now, Bella, in my clutches at long last. Um, who are you? I am James, the evil vampire who wants to drink your delicious freezer-smelling blood and discard your lifeless corpse in a river, mafia-style. You told me my mother was here. You lied to me. You only want me, because I am so madly in love with Edward. Actually, there really isn't any practical reason why I'm the primary antagonist. Perhaps if my character was delved into, my merits and flaws explored, my motivations better examined, I would possess an element of realism essential to a well-written character. So, why do you want to kill me? Because Stephanie Meyer said so. Who is Stephanie Meyer? You, 30-some years old, in an alternate dimension, where you are a human with believable flaws who has made millions off of this mindless mess. What mindless mess? Oh no. I've said too much. I must turn you now with my venom into a minor pyre. Don't you mean vampire? Um, sure, right, exactly. Here I'm to save the day Bella. Bella? Where is she? I bit her, infected her with my venom, and now she will become a minor pyre. You mean vampire, right? What the fuck ever. Are we going to have an epic battle sequence, or what? The sooner I can leave this hellhole the better. You may be stronger than me, but I'm faster. I will beat you, and save my beloved. Dude, shut the fuck up, and do me in already, I'm so done here. Very well. Epic battle sequence commences now. Bella, James is dead, I killed him. My family helped, but remember I'm the hero. I sucked out the evil venom and now you won't become a vampire. But I wanted to become a vampire. I want to live for all eternity with you, my beloved. Don't you love me, Edward? Do you want to go to prom? 
Are you trying to avoid the subject? Yes. Very well. We can talk about our destined love at prom. Hooray. Oh, Edward, I just can't stop talking about my love for you, your dashing good looks, and how I'm entirely unworthy of you. I've noticed. Please turn me into a vampire, please. Then we can have hot vampire sex in a cabin somewhere forever. I'm a monster, Bella. I have, like, a tortured soul and whatnot. You should totally stay human. It's better that way. Besides, vampires never sleep. We would run out of things to talk about. I could just stare longingly into your eyes for centuries at a time. Those liquid topaz eyes. Yeah, you mentioned those before. Edward? Yes, Bella. Do you love me? Despite having absolutely no reason, yes, yes, I do love you. Though while I may say I love you, know that I'm being forced by Stephanie Meyer. You're the second person to mention her to me. That's because Stephanie Meyer said so is the only excuse to explain the vast majority of this tale. Whatever. Just turn me into a vampire. Let's make with the eternal sex already. You have no ambitions? No dreams? You just want to be my sex slave forever? I had ambitions. However, they strangely disappeared after I laid eyes on you for the first time. I can't turn you into one of us, Bella. Not ever. Will you ever change your mind? More than likely. So there is hope? You are practically guaranteed a happy ending. Yay.